guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I'm finally doing the super shock swatch party that I promised you guys back in my end of year declutter video. We are going to go through all of my super shocks. It's going to be so satisfying. I'm going to swatch everything and I'm also going to be doing a little declutter because um, I just have a lot of super shocks and honestly a lot of them have gone bad and gone dry. Just keep in mind that I do keep more than I should own because I do do a lot of comparisons for my videos and Colourpop is the main brand that I do review here. So yeah, with that being said, we are going to go through things. Hopefully we can sort of declutter some. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the swatches. So here is a quick overview of all of the Super Shocks laid out. I just counted and there are 58, so I definitely would love to cut that number down a little bit. So I just asked about 20 minutes ago on my Instagram whether you guys would like me to categorize by color or by collection and I think for the most part most people voted for color. I mean I've only had it for 20 minutes but I think the number difference is quite drastic so I'm gonna go ahead and categorize them by color. So I've divided everything up into four categories and this is going to be the first one. So as you can see, we have all of the champagnes, the golds, just those kind of tones. Let's start off with these two. These were from the Sunflower collection. This one here is called Flower Child. It's a really nice light gold champagne color. This one is really pretty. I'm going to keep this. Look at all those little glitters. This one here is called In Harmony. This one's more of like a richer gold. And then we have some from Raw Beauty Christie's collection. This one is called Olympic. Sorry about my nail. I'm pretty sure that's going to annoy some people. Um, but this one, I think I'm going to keep this one as... Oh, actually... This one's actually quite similar to that first one we swatched. I'm just going to put that as a maybe for now. And then this one here, Mycelium. This one's a little bit more bronzy. I think I'm just going to keep these two for now just because it is like a limited edition. And this one here is from the Tinkerbell collection. It's called A Fly to Your Heart. This is probably one of my newer ones, but they all kind of look the same. That I really don't need all of these, you know? That one slightly has like a pinky undertone to it. This one here is from the Animal Crossing collection. It's called Balloon Pop. I think I'll just keep this one because I love Animal Crossing. It's nice for the memories, you know? But as you can see, they all like look very similar. And then these two are from the Disney collection that came out pretty recently. So this one here is called I'm Wishing. I think I will keep the Disney ones. Okay, this one's a little bit different. It has like a silver underbase with like a lot of pink glitters in it. I feel like that one's a little bit different from what we swatched. And then this one is called Colors of the Wind. There's like a holographic to it as well. Very pretty. It's like a two-tone color as well, which is cute. That one's a little bit more bronzy. As you can see, like, they're all a little bit different, but they just are gonna look similar on the eyes, you know? Like, I don't need all of these. And then this one here is called Puppy Love. They do this annually. They come out with like two new shades or one new shade um, and they donate it to an animal shelter. And this one's in a satin finish. And as you can see, my one did break. Let's give it a swatch. Okay, still swatch as well. But that does look quite similar to what I already have. I'm gonna pass this one on. I forgot about this one. This one's also from the Disney collection. Um, this one is called A Beauty and the Beast. That is pretty. Another Disney one I forgot about. This one maybe is Moana because of the shell. Uh, how far I'll go. Yes, it is Moana. So 
this is what it looks like a nice taupey champagne this one looks oh yes this is like my kind of color so these three here which collection was this from? It was their Roaring Hearts one, I'm pretty sure. This one here is Gin Ricky. Oh yeah, that's stunning. That is beautiful. But I actually have two of this one, Avant Garde, the other shade, because they just sent me two. I think they just got mixed up. So I did have two and I have used both, that's the problem, because I didn't realize until later. But this is Avant Garde, more like a dirty gold. All right, we got three more to go in this category. This one is from Pony's collection, her Biddy collection with Colourpop in the shade Walk On Air. It has like these little bubble imprints on it. It's a nice silver, it actually kind of looks like this one here. This one here was from their Flutter By collection. It's called Midnight Morphin. Even though it's dry, it's still like quite pigmented. Like you still can get pigment out of it, but I think I'm gonna have to let that one go. And then lastly, in this category, we have a ladybird. Very intense. This one's actually quite nice. Quite like that. All right, next up we have all of the oranges, the bronzy tones, just in this warm toned color family. So first up we have this one. It was from their Make It Black collection and this is the shade Main Attraction. This one is really pretty. I don't think I even used this one. It looks brand new. Should I not use it then? I'm just pass it on. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to pass that one on because that's literally brand new. I did not even touch that go to this one this one is from their fifth birthday a couple years back it was like the watermelon collection uh this is called birthday treat it's a nice like pinky orange like pink salmon that's what it looks like yeah that's really pretty and i feel like this one is like a collector's item you know so i'm gonna keep this one another one from raw beauty christie's collection this is a campfire. This is a really nice, like, fiery bronze. It's so pretty. Wow. And then the remaining ones, I feel like, are all quite old. So this one here is called Kathleen Lights. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have to keep this one. This is just a classic, but it's so dry. This probably was, like, one of my first Colourpop purchases. But here we have... Oh my gosh, that looks exactly like... Raw Beauty. Raw Beauty Christie's one has more like little sparkles. Kathleen's one's more just of a metallic, but wow, they actually look really, really similar. But I think I just got to keep this just for the memories, you know, just for the memory. I have to keep that one. This one here is called There's a Cloud. This one has flowers on it. Which collection was that? I can't remember. Oh, it must have been an old collection though. This one looks kind of similar to what we just watched. Yeah, this one's a little bit different. It's a little bit more yellow than bronzy than these two but it is very similar this one i think i can let go this one here is a nice orangey actually that might be similar to the one we just watched this one is bumblebee okay this one i actually like more than this one so the previous one we just watched i'm gonna declutter and i'll keep this one i feel like i like this one a little bit better then we have this one called monkey business it's not for the eye area it's a super shock pressed pigment and it's like a matte and this one, as you can see, really dried up. It even cracked. Can we even get pigment from this? Not really. Yeah, this one is gone. I mean, this would still be nice as a blush, but... Yeah, I feel like that one is goodbye. We got another coppery kind of color. This one is called Let Me Pass. don't need this one either. This one here is really pretty. It has a lot of like micro glitters in there. If you guys can see the sun is like out again. This in the shade Flipper. Oh, this one does feel quite dry. Nice orange base with silver reflect. It does feel a little bit dry so I'm just gonna let that one go as you can see like it's bunching up. And then lastly in this category we have the shade On The Rocks. Was this Kathleen's one as well? It might have been. Her quad that she did. That one's a nice bronzy shade. 
Do I need that one? It looks like one of these ones as well. I'm, hmm. I'm gonna let this one go. All right, the next category is a pretty big one. We have the pinks and purples. Have a lot here and a bit of reds actually, just like in this kind of like color story. So here we have them all laid out. I'm gonna go, let's go by collection. Okay, let's see. I have some of these Disney ones again. So this one, Aurora, surely has a crown. Once Upon a Dream, I think that's her, yeah. I don't know, I feel like Colourpop does this color quite often. It's like a pink base with gold reflex. So that's what it looks like. Oh, so pretty. Uh, that is really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep all the Disney ones. <laughs> They're just so new and I really like the shades. This one is Mulan, love it, I love the comb. And it's called Reflection. When will my reflection show who I am? Here we are. It's a nice red underbase with purple burgundy reflect. And this one is I See the Light. So pretty. This one is like crazy pretty. Oh my gosh, in the sun as well. Okay, this one is more like a sheer topper. It has a lilac under base, but look at how many glitters are in there. It's really unique, I feel, from Colourpop. Like, I can see blue and like yellow. It's really, really pretty. Then I see these two that have like the little butterflies on it. This one, I think, came out a long time ago as well. This one looks very similar to that Disney one that we just watched. This is called Race U. This one's old. I think I got it in like 2018, but it looks like this first one here. So let's swatch it right next to it. Maybe at one point in time they were a similar color, but because it's such an old shade, it's lost its like intensity, but it is very similar. Like pink under base, gold reflect. This one here is Could Goodbye Butterfly. It's a satin, which looks really pretty. Let's give it a go. Honestly, this one is like really nice. Like I feel like this is a color I would wear all over my lids now. I might keep this one actually, I really like that color. These two shades paired together as well, that lilac and this like peachy pink. I like it. See these ones from the Why Not collection, I believe. Was it Why Not? This one here is called Muse. Wow, this is really pretty. Nice burgundy color. And then this one here is called a Wine Down. So yeah, this one was from the Why Not collection. Not wine, why not? Wine and only. I keep calling it why not. I don't know why. Oh, this one's quite unique actually. It has a really strong purple underbase. Mm, I'm gonna keep this one. Declutter this one. This one is called Millennium and it's from the Make It Black collection. This one I think I'm just gonna pass on because I don't know. I feel like this shade is quite common. This kind of red. Now I have these two in a pink packaging that I can't remember which collection this came in. But this one here is called Bubbly. It's a really nice pink. I feel like I'm gonna keep both of these because I love pinks. Oh, it's really pretty. Yes, I'm keeping this one. This one here is called Plum. It's more of like a mauve purple pink. That's really pretty as well. Do I need it though? Obviously I don't. Mm. I'm gonna pass this one on. So these are the remaining three from Pony's collection. They're all in a, like a pink color story. This one here is called Seventh Heaven and this one looks very similar to that previous shade we swatched, the pink base, right? But because it's Pony, I wanna keep it, but it looks exactly the same. I'll just re-swatch it for you guys, the one I'm talking about. This one, the Aurora one. Like, I think ponies, oh my gosh, no, it's actually literally the same thing, I feel. Like, I don't know, I really don't need both. This one here is called Warm and Fuzzy. I think it used to have like marbling effect on it. But let's swatch. Why does that look the same? Okay, I'm gonna let this one go. I don't need to keep all of the pony one. At least just keep like a few, you know? That seriously just looks too similar to me. I don't know. And then this one here, the last pony one, is called Gumball. This one's really pretty actually. This one I remember had little swirls in it. 
I quite like this one actually. Yeah. I'll keep that one. And then this one, this one is also part of that uh, charity thing they do. So this one is called Catnap. And my one, I don't know what happened to it. It's so dry. Can I get anything? No. I mean, kinda. This could be a nice eye topper, but yeah, this one is gone. Another one from Tinkerbell. This is really pretty. Look at all of those sparkles. This one's called Never Grow Up. This one is from the My Little Pony collection, which I love and adore. Like, I'm definitely just gonna keep this. It's definitely one for the memories, but it's so, like, Colourpop used to do these kind of shades, guys. Like, they were not scared to play with so much color back then. Like, this is such a, oh my gosh, this is a very peri color. This is the Pantone color of the year. Oh my god, I should have used this in my tutorial. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. Like this is what Colourpop used to do. The shade is called Sunbeam. It is just, ah, uh, it's just stunning. And the last three in this category are from the Flutter By collection. This purple is just screaming to me right now. This one is called Ringlet. This one, oh my gosh, this color. Colourpop, honestly, back then they used to do so much like unique kind of colors. This one's special, this one I don't, think I have anything like this in my collection. I'm gonna keep this one for sure, even though it's a little dried out, it's okay. This one here is called Flying Circuits, which is also really beautiful. It looks like a duochrome. Very pretty, guys. Like, how pretty is that? And then lastly, this one is called Like a Butterfly, which is not as unique. I probably, yeah, this one is just like that deep burgundy kind of color, which I'm gonna pass this one on. All right guys, now finally onto the greens and blues, which is probably my favorite category just because I think hair is where a lot of the special unique shades are. So let's hop right into it. Okay, I think we'll start off with these two. These came with the High Tide collection, I believe, which the High Tide palette I really, really love. So it comes in like a light blue, Packaging. This one's really, really pretty. It's a nice teal with a green underbase. This one is called Sure Thing. Oh, just stunning. Look at that blue, the teal. Keeping this one for sure. And this one is really nice as well. I don't have a super shock like this. This one is called Coconut. Oh, yes. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. We have quite a few from the Disney collection, which are so, so pretty. I want to swatch this one. This one, I think, is the aerial one under the sea. Yes, this one's the aerial one because it kind of looks similar. Oh, no, actually, this one looks a little bit more green. I'm going to swatch it right next to that one. Yeah, it's a little bit more green than teal, but that is a nice as duochrome. So pretty. This one here is Jasmine, as you can see with the lamp. It's called Arabian Nights. This one's a little bit of like a sky blue. Actually, it looks like her dress perfectly, doesn't it? This one here is Touch the Sky, a nice teal. And as you can see, all of these blues are so different, right? Like, that's what I mean. I think with the blues and the greens, they're just so different from each other. So pretty, this teal. This one is A Dream Your Heart Makes. This is a really nice icy silver blue. Very pretty as well. I think this one's like a more of a unique one for me. And then this one is The Princess and the Frog down in New Orleans. It's the green. It's a really pretty green. Let's swatch. Yes, see? You can see all of these are just so different from each other. Like we still have a few more to go, but like they're just so different. They don't cross over as much as like the other categories. All right, so we are down to the last five. Let's go to the Raw Beauty Christie Last Super Shock Shadow. The sun is a, like a moss. Stunning. Nice like gold to green flip. This kind of reminds me of Solar Flare actually from my palette. It's really pretty. This one from the Tinkerbell collection. I really like this. I think this is a really unique color in my collection. It's a really nice true green. Like you can see the difference. This is a true green. This is like a gold green. 
This one is called Straight Till Morning. This one is another one from the Warring Hearts collection. It has a black base but with a lot of sparkle, a lot of gold, silver sparkle in there. It's called Golden Age. This one's not green, it's just I don't know where to put this one in. So this one's unique, I really like this one. And then this one I have to keep, this one is Telepathy, which is Kathleen's one. This was so iconic, like, so iconic. This, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, Kathleen did that. And the last and final one is this one here called Kisp. This one I think might be the one I declutter. Out of all the blues and greens, this is the one, yeah. As you can see, it's not really, it's not really there anymore. So here is what I'm keeping. I decided that I would just keep all of the Disney ones because they are so new and I really like them. And then in total, I counted 37. So I would have liked to drop it down to like in the 20s, but that's fine. 37 for now. And I think I have a really good range in here. I think it would still work really well for comparison. So this is my collection now and then everything fits perfectly into my container that goes inside my drawer and that's what i wanted it just worked out so this is just my collection now like i know it's still a lot but i think it was just overflowing before so this is now my collection and then these ones here are the ones that i am letting go so these up here are pretty much brand new they work so well i'm gonna pass these ones on to friends if they would like them these ones here i'm also gonna pass on as well but they are a little bit older some of them are a little bit dry but they still work well but they're not as new as these ones so this is like that category here and then this one is just like completely gone like the pigment is gone so i might give this to like my niece and maybe she can turn it into like pigment or she can just have fun get crafty with it um so yeah they're not gonna go into the bin they're just gonna have a new home a new purpose a new life but yeah guys let's put everything back together this was my swatch party of my collection video and also a declutter so if you guys did enjoy give it a thumbs up for me i would appreciate it so much thank you for watching and i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye